Hey guys, all right, today I am repotting my cranberry hibiscus. Cranberry hibiscus is really easy to propagate. You just cut the top of the uh, plant off, take that stem, take a couple of leaves off, and you have two ways. You can either stick it in the ground, give it a few weeks, water it every day, or you could put it into a bucket with water. And that's what I did. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, the dirt I'm using is from our fire pit. Um, as you all know, we burn our cardboard and we let that um, leach into the soil. So that way we got nice dark soil. I have seven of the cranberry hibiscus and those are the ones in red. And I'll show you more detail here. But um, the pots, what I did is I took some mulch and I put, I'm gonna put mulch on the bottom. They're not gonna be this full, I'm gonna take some out. I'm gonna fill the dirt up the rest of the way. And then with the cranberry hibiscus, I'm gonna show you how easy. These were in the pot for about three weeks. <clears throat> Look at those roots. And all I have to do is cut the bottom half off, just below the roots. And see, oh, here's a really good one. <clears throat> Look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? And I all have a whole new plant. And uh, we are definitely propagating this year because one, we are starting up our nursery. As you can tell, things are going pretty good. Um, we got cold fronts coming in. Right now, Donald is on call this week. He just had to leave for a call, but he's getting ready to um, get the plastic up. As you can tell, he started right here. So we're gonna be covering this side and this side today if we can. It just stopped raining. Um, cold front number two is supposed to be coming in tomorrow. So, <laughs> But also in here is um, my mulberry tree. I tried an experiment and you can see right here, it'll focus, I have a green leaf coming out of this stem here and then you can see all those nodes that focuses are going to be roots. Now the mulberry tree ones are probably going to take a little bit longer. Once I'm done with the cranberry hibiscus, I'm going to go ahead and go through these and figure out which sticks are still alive and then I'm gonna leave them in the water for a little bit longer. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna try, I gotta do this one-handed, but right here are the roots. And then what I do is I will cut just a little bit longer than the root system itself. Um, this one I'm a little iffy about because it kind of broke. I think one of my chickens might have eaten it, but here's the rest of them. As you can tell, this here is the root system. I normally just turn them upside down, let them fall, cut right below them. And because they're wet, I pull it off. Now this just fell out of my hand, but this will still grow. So I'm gonna plant it. Missy, stop eating my my stuff go on silly goose chicken all right as you can tell let me get a better view here when I stick it in you can see how the root system still sticking out so we'll just make a bigger hole you stick it in like that don't you dare and then I just cover it and we'll see if that one grows if it doesn't no big deal it was um, the 
the bucket got overfilled with the rainwater. Stop eating it. I know you guys like it, but I need it. All right. Now that I got all of my trouble chickens, yes, you, you guys over there. I went ahead and I got them in the nursery area, but they are right there. I just got a phone call. Donald's on his way back home. So what I'm going to do is, these are the mulberries and I am going to go ahead and pull them out one by one. I'm going to test them by scraping them and I'm going to show you what that means. Normally you do like a little thumb scrape near the, uh, uh, somewhere on the stick to see if it's green. Um, if the bark underneath is green, that means the stick is still alive. If it's brown, it's dead, we can toss it. Um, I did pull out a couple. It doesn't look like I got any roots, but I do see a lot of little leaf buds that are coming out. So that's a good sign. And I'm going to show you um, the thumbnail scraping here in just a moment. All right, now with this one, there we go. You can see there's a bud there, but I don't see any roots. Not even at the, uh, i trying to use my leg to focus. Now, I did score these when I first started in various ways and various lengths. So, what I'm going to do is with this one, I'm going to keep it in the water. And because I know it's got a bud on it and it's green, we're just going to keep going at it. Now, well, that might be a root right there. Looks like two. Yep. Look at that right there. Two root, two tiny roots starting to form. Oh, there looks like there's a, yeah, two roots so far. So we're definitely going to leave this one in the water. Okay. I did a scraping on this one. I don't know if it'll focus, but see how it's lightly green. So that tells me it's still alive. Plus a lot of the buds on top look like they're about ready to bust open now I did not see any Let's see if I focus I didn't see any of the uh, roots so I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this bucket and show you a few other things okay here's a really good example it's still green and I have roots. Let's see if you can see them there. See them? One long root and one right there. So that's a good indicator. I could probably transplant this one, but I'm going to wait. Even this big green one or this big guy here, look how green that is. So he's doing good. So let's keep going. Okay. Back in the bucket they go. I had all but two. Every one of them is still alive. I gave them fresh water, rinsed that out, got rid of the dirty water, and I will go ahead and try this again probably another week or two. And I keep them protected over here in our little banana area, our, our grilling area. That way um, they have some over overhang so they're not burnt up with the sun and if um, the temperature is going to get down to 40 so they won't you know get too cold but that's it you just gotta sit and wait <laughs> all righty we got it done so that way we got better stability for the plastic and then donald got the plastic out <laughs> now we gotta unravel it and figure out what goes where huh honey what? 
And what we're doing today is we're just going to cover this side and all the way down on this side only because this is the north side. This is north uh, west. That's where most of the cold air comes from. So for right now, we're just going to buffer it. We're going to do the same exact thing on the back side. But what we're going to do next is trim these trees back and then get the plastic up after we get the wood pieces up. <laughs> 